Setting up a unit re-prefix conversion. A student sets up the following equation to convert a measurement. The question mark stands for a number the student is going to calculate, filling the missing part of this equation. So we have 0 0.070 milliliters times something equals something, uh, a certain number of deciliters. So all we, we're going to do here is just fill in the units. We don't have to fill in an actual value. We're just filling in the units. We want to show that the units here will cancel, the units of milliliter will cancel to give us deciliters. So what goes here? What is the missing part of the equation? Well, let's see what we have. We have milliliters, and we're being asked to convert that to deciliters. Do we have a conversion uh, that directly relates those two? Well, some may have that, but uh, if we're looking at our simple uh, uh, conversion uh, factors derived from the metric prefixes, we do not. But I do have a conversion factor that will take me from milliliters to liters. And then I have another conversion factor that will take me from liters to deciliters. Let's bring in our metric table here to help us to uh, derive these conversion factors. So we need one, two conversion factors in this case. Let's get our first conversion factor. Remember the shortcut we used before. If I place a one in front of the prefixed unit, then the number of the base unit, which is liters that I need, is going to be equal to uh, equal to the meaning of the prefix. What is the meaning of milli? Well, if we look here, milli is 1 times 10 to the minus 3, or 0 0.001. So I can just simply write 0 0.001 liters here. I could have also written uh, 10 to the minus 3. So our first conversion factor comes from is going to come from this relationship, 1 milliliter, is 0 0.001 liters. And this conversion factor will allow us to go from milliliters to liters. Let's do a second conversion factor to relate liters and deciliters. One deciliters, and we're going to use one deciliter because we're going to use the shortcut. If I place a one in front of the prefixed unit, the unit with the prefix, then the number of liters that it's equal to is the meaning of deci. Deci is 1 times 10 to the minus 1, or 0 0.1. And there we go. I have these two conversion factors. And so now, I just place these conversion factors in this conversion uh, and in order to make the units cancel. So what would I be placing here? Well, it looks something like this. 0. 0 0.070 milliliters. We're going to multiply this by our first conversion factor. Which one would it be? This one or this one? It's going to have to be the one with milliliters on it or in it, excuse me. And it needs to be expressed in the way to allow milliliters to cancel. So I can write this I can express this conversion factor either with mil one milliliter on top or one milliliter on the bottom. It's just a, it's a, it's, it's just a way to express it. One milliliter is 0 0.001 liters or 0 0.001 liters per one milliliter. I want milliliters on the bottom and 0 0.001 liters on the top because that will allow me to cancel milliliters. Okay? Well, we also need a second conversion factor to continue our conversion liters is going to have to go on the bottom this time so we're going to use this is the first one and this is the second one we're going to use this one now 0 0.1 liters goes on the bottom one deciliter goes up top and so when I check my units here 
liters, cancels. Milliliters is canceled. And deciliters is left. And so this will allow me to convert from milliliters to deciliters. We don't actually have to do this calculation, but we have set it up so that the units cancel. And I know that if I did do this calculation according to this plan, I would have the correct answer.